Hey guys, ITP back again. I know two guides one day, right? That's crazy. Anyway, if you watch my guide from earlier today, this one's pretty much starts in the same location in Ivarstead again. Except this time, when you jump off the bridge here, we're gonna follow the river straight up and onto this island over here. Alright, this is Guillermo's Hall. Really not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, so... Sorry. Anyway, once you get here, you might want to sneak. There's just a couple of skeever in this opening room here, nothing big. Alright, so once you get down here... Yeah, ignore that, but you want to jump down this big hole right here. Don't be scared. There's water down there. Okay. Now, in here, if you go up the stairs, this is the main way you want to go. But I'm going to show you what's up that path in the water ahead. And here we get my favorite little friends, my spiders, of course. You take them out. Nice and easy. Alright, in this room, if you want to open it with a lock, it's not really... Necessary, there's just a potion in there, I think, and maybe a bit of armor. Nothing special, though, so you can probably choose to ignore it if you want. Alright, so now, before we head on, I'm just gonna... You want to come down here into the water and swim straight up through here. You're gonna get some useful potions. And yeah, Grand Soul Gem right there. Open up this chest, some gold, some potions, all that good stuff. And if you look just to the right of the chest, you're going to find a potion of water breathing, which is can be pretty helpful. Alright, so now we'll continue along. You want to uh, jump over this trap here, where you're going to get a bunch of arrows to the face, which is never fun. Head down, you're going to come across your first puzzle here. Now the order for this, a bunch of Draugr are going to get summoned here as well, but the order that goes in is bird, fish, Snake fish, so remember that. And, uh, take out these tools again. If you sneak through, they don't summon, so keep that in mind if you just want to ignore them. Alright, so now we'll do it again. Bird, fish, this one here is going to be snake. And the last one in the corner is going to be fish. Yes. And uh, see that soul gem on the table there? You can take it, but back away quick or that mammoth head's going to give you the biggest headbutt of your life. Okay? Okay. Open up the lever. Well, the gate. Yeah. Use the lever to open up the gate. And you're going to come across some more Draugr here. Just a few in this room. Where the arrow didn't even hit him. <laughs> Whatever, I'll take the credit. And that one too. Alright, I can hear a Draugr somewhere in this room, but I couldn't find it, so I just ignored him. If you come around behind this thing, there's a coin purse. And some potions on these shelves here. Or one potion. Now we head up here, you're going to find the corpse of this dude. And you want that key and you can loot him for, yeah, a scroll. But take the key because that's going to open the door directly behind me right here. And you're going to find a Draugr straight ahead so you might want to crouch. <laughs> Love how he just face planted there. And um, that spider had to go and ruin my victory by showing its face. Soul gem on the ground. Uh, you want to head left once you get here. More Draugr around the corner.
Alrighty then. So now once you get him down, just continue uh, following the path. And this bit, don't pull this lever or you're going to get speared, just like that. The real lever you want to find is hidden up behind this little root thing there. And that'll drop the bridge down, exposing this guy. The quickest way to finish this dude is, uh, get your, your unrelenting force and just, yeah, nail him off that bridge. Once you come around here, you'll find another lever, which is going to drop it down the next bridge. And there's two more jogger just directly ahead. And um, in this next bit here, there is a bunch of the swinging like axes going. Ignore the trap right on the ground there. Now you should equip your shout and sprint across, but I'm too lazy and I just prefer to get sliced. <laughs> Remember that competition that I put out the other day, guys? There's a few people that are into it, but everyone should have a go at it. The more entries, the better, <laughs> because if only two people enter, well... Yeah, we're going to have winners either way. But yeah, more comp competition would be better. Okay, this is the boss room here. You should save just before you fight him. And uh, his coffin's going to pop open. And you should rip into him as soon as you can. Because you'll get some of his health down pretty quick. Now the deal with this guy is he will like, teleport across the room. And he'll also summon clones. To be able to tell which is the real him, there's two ways here. Yeah, I just got slammed into the ground. Um... The fake ones have this blue glow about them, and the real guy has horns on his crown, so keep that in mind. Now these guys do use unrelenting force, and it gets really annoying, so... But apart from that, this fight's pretty simple. You can use your un unrelenting force on those two guys on the platforms if you want to get them down. <laughs> uh, I got an arrow in the arse, I'm getting flung around the room. Fight on. Alright, we'll finish him off here. Once you finish him, his clones disappear. And uh, yeah, you get this gold uh, amulet fragment, which can be useful. And uh, that's what the other thing we came for here is the gold uh, black bow, which is a really nice bow. And I'm over encumbered here, so I'm gonna have to drop some weapons. Alright, so take a look at that bow right here. I forgot what it was called for a second, so <laughs> I went down. But yeah, this is it. Gold or black bow. Pretty sweet. Uh, take a look at it here. It looks really nice. Yeah, and there she be. Alright, um, once we're done here, you want to uh, head up through this path here, just behind the coffin. The tomb, whatever you want to call it. And you're going to get some good treasures here. On the shelves, you're going to find soul gems, potions, and read this book, which will increase your two-handed weapon skill. And then we can pop open the chest. Yeah, I got these gloves, which are really cool. <laughs> Except they made me over in combat again, so I had to go through my inventory, deleting a whole bunch of crap. I probably should have skipped this bit forward, but yeah. Decisions, decisions, what to remove. I ended up removing the wind shear, which is the first ever weapon I got in my first ever video. No. Yeah. Anyway, continue through the path. Yeah, I got lost again. Sorry. It's this way, and uh, yeah. Pull the lever. That's going to open up this bit, and uh, take you right back to the start of the dungeon. So yes, guys, that's going to do it. I'll bring you more real soon. Till next time, peace!